You're watching Junction TV, the home for rail fans. In our first long form video, we are here in the RJ Corman Railroad's Rupp Yard in Lexington, Kentucky. It's the first Saturday of May, 2024. And I've came to Lexington to chase the 2024 edition of the Kentucky Derby train. In the glory years of passenger rail travel, several companies ran Derby specials to Louisville for the run for the roses. However, these days, CSX is the last remaining company to run a Derby train. For CSX, the Derby train continues a tradition started by predecessor railroad, the LNN, and it runs down the Old Road subdivision, a current RJ Corman line that was formerly owned by CSX. It runs 101 miles from Anchorage, Kentucky to Winchester, Kentucky. The line connects to current LCL sub in Anchorage for CSX, and in Winchester to the CSX CC sub. And with that, here comes our train out of the yard. The office car special is led by CSX-1, CSX-2, and CSX-3. These former Amtrak FP-40s, along with the entire consist, are painted in Heritage Baltimore and Ohio scheme. This is a brand new rail fan channel, so engagement is extremely important. Please like the content if you enjoy it, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment. Let me know your favorite filming location. Have you ever caught the Derby train? And if so, where was it?
after Lexington, my next stop was Midway. Where the train line cuts this classic Main Street in half. Next on the stop list, Frankfurt in the state capital city. As you can see this Kentucky historical marker outside of the former passenger station. Now the train used to stop here and pick up the governor and his cabinet. However, former governor Matt Bevan ended that tradition in 2016 and the governor has not ridden the train since. After crawling through the capital city, the train picks up some speed as it continues on down the line, as evident in these next couple of shots.
pacing the train now through the Kentucky countryside as it thunders closer and closer to Louisville and the run for the roses. A CSX company official confirmed that the CEO and other company dignitaries were on the train this morning, as well as several celebrities, although they would not release any names. Well, I've got to say, my first chase of the Kentucky Derby train did not disappoint. As it disappears into the foggy landscape, we'll let it go as it's getting close to Louisville now, and that Derby Day traffic just does not seem appealing. The train will re-enter CSX trackage at Anchorage on the LCL sub before proceeding on to Louisville Yard. The 150th running of the Roses didn't disappoint either, as a three-way photo finish for the end was one of the closest finishes in the last 27 years of the Derby. I hope you've enjoyed this one. We'll see you next time.